click the yellow doors on the right if you want. Sometimes everything comes full circle. Take this fruit. A monkey did. He ate it and pooped the seeds out. Guess what grew from that? More fruit trees. And how's that for a fruitful cycle? <laughs> If you could see in the dark, and were very lucky, you might glimpse an extremely shy creature known as the Baird's Tapir. The dark is about the only thing they're not afraid of. <laughs> this rainforest at a glance map will show us around. Click each section to hear about its highlights. The understory is where the rainforest has its roots. It's high time for you to visit the mimicry and camouflage zone. If you want to help my class finish their classroom rainforest, you need to find the item missing from this tropical toolbox. This is one swinging bunch that likes to branch out. Catch them if you can. These quick critters share their first name with an eight-legged web spinner. Hmm, can it be you'll find these animals in the canopy? Click the green clue buttons to hear hints about our missing bioclones. Click the green clue buttons to As I always say, there's no better way to take a look around than being outward bound. And while you're at it, keep your eyes peeled for bioclones for the rainforest toolbox. Back to the bus class. Because once we're there, we can go anywhere. Let's go outside. Catch that breeze, class. Check out this bird's eye view of the rainforest as we check out the canopy. If you want to follow the iguana, we'll learn more about the creatures of the canopy. Now let's get the word on the bird and the other creatures of the canopy. Zippy, let's play the damselfly game. Life's pretty good if you're a helicopter damselfly just buzzing around, catching spiders, and laying eggs. The only problem is, the Rufus Mutt Mutt, who thinks you'd make a pretty good lunch. Think you're ready to evade and lay eggs? Here goes! <coughs> just use the arrow keys. Dana will go where you guide her. Use the space bar to drop eggs. Just use the arrow keys. Dana will go where you guide her. Use the space... <laughs> Isn't this what life's all about? Eating, not getting eaten, and dropping eggs for bonus points. Really? 
ಮಾಡಿ bugs and snakes. Why did the bee sting the rhinoceros? Because he got a charge out of it. Carlos, bromeliads are more than just a plant-style bucket. There are whole communities of plant and animal life centered around these tiny ponds high in the trees. Here's the scoop. Welcome to Bromeliad Point. To the casual visitor, these bromeliads may just be water tanks made of leaves. But those who live here know that real drama that unfolds here every day. <coughs> the mosquitoes and the frogs. Both lay eggs in the water and young frogs love to eat mosquito larvae. The surviving mosquitoes are out for blood and they'll get it when they bite the adult frogs. Charming, isn't it? Then, there's a salamander. Just stopping by for a drink. But, this snake might have other ideas. And of course, there's the bromeliad itself. What does she get from all these guests? Only their dirt. But, that gives her all she needs. Oh, that and any water she can soak out of the air around her. Bromeliad place. Every Monday on Channel Zero. The rainforest really grows on you. Literally. We better get moving before vines and bromeliads start to take root on the bus. You didn't like your lunch yesterday? At least you didn't need a poisonous bug. Help this Jackamar find a better lunch this time when we play bird food. Jacqueline, the Rufus tail Jackamar, fly around and eat butterflies. But watch out, brightly colored butterflies are poisonous. And if Jackie eats too many of them, she'll lose her appetite. All you have to do is click where you want Jacqueline to go, and then click what you want her to eat. Watch out! 
brightly colored butterflies are poisonous, and if Jackie eats too many of them, she'll lose her appetite.